from one of Tori's favorite movies, Mad Max. As an RV stalls across the highway, a cop car punches clean through it, able to continue its high-speed pursuit. Now, I don't want to call Grant a prima donna, but he's been asking for a trailer for a long time. Stop! Now I can finally say, I'll be in my trailer. You better enjoy it, because he's not going to have it for long. Yeah. With all these myths, we're looking for two things. We want to see if, in fact, these crashes do look like they do in the Hollywood movies. And after they're done crashing through whatever it is we're going to crash them through, will they continue to run like they do in the movies? Mr. Imahara, you're wanted on set. Grant? Grant? <laughs> God, I did not want to see that. This is trailer destruction. In three, two, one, hit it. 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, there it comes. Yeah. 60, oh. 70 miles an hour. Oh. My trailer! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing Hollywood about that. That was simply a car wreck. We completely <laughs> destroyed that trailer. There was no hole punch. It was goodbye to the trailer. <laughs> it is pretty flat. That's why we can never have anything nice. Don't worry, buddy. We'll put it back together. The trailer is trashed, and the conclusions are quick to follow. That was a very spectacular crash, but it wasn't like in the movie where they just punch a clean hole through and keep going. And the car? It's not drivable, and they're definitely not continuing their chase. That was awesome. The car hit the chassis, and the trailer pretty much disappeared. But this myth is busted on both accounts. Not only did it not look like the Hollywood stunt, but the car was not drivable after the crash. So, busted on both accounts.